Grand Risings people. So this morning at 10 o'clock is going to be the breaking of the fast. This is what breakfast means, breaking of fast. You have completed 60 hours of dry fasting or hard dry fasting now. For those of you that um, aren't part of the guided fast this week, you might not understand what's going on in this video, but I'm gonna leave it up and put it on YouTube. And if you're interested in doing something and this inspires you or resonates with you, then um, please do message and I do run plenty of these. Nice big bird just flew past then. So um, this morning we're gonna be breaking our fast with our lemon water, our pink Milan salt um, that we've been charging all week with our affirmations that we've been writing with our left hand and our right hand. I'm gonna pop a little video up there of me doing as such just now. Um, as you know, we write with the right and the left hand to increase the corpus callosum that divides the two brain hemispheres, which almost bypasses, which I believe does bypass the conscious mind and goes straight into the subconscious. So it's a very quick way for us to rewrite our energy field and our old programming. Um, I've asked you guys to pick 12 affirmations. I recommended that the first three be I'm abundantly healthy, I'm abundantly prosperous and I'm abundantly happy. Um, so I'd like you to write them with your right and left hand one last time while sitting in the field of your water. So this is in your energy field, your Taurus or your aura. Um, I would then like you to speak them into the water. For those of you who wonder why I ask people to do this, if you look at studies by Masuru Emoto, it was shown that when we speak lovingly to water, but we say, I love you, or I'm here for you, or I care for you, the water creates like angelic crystalline um, structures within the water. So the water is affected by the vibration, the energy and the vibration, the frequency of how we speak. And uh, when we speak nasty to it, like I fucking hate you, it goes all clouded and polluted. polluted. Now the human body is roughly 72% water. Interesting enough, vegetables are around 72% water and fruits are around 90% water. And that's why we have done a period of intermittent fasting first on fruits and veg on the first day um, to slowly go from dense foods or from the normal density foods that you eat to slightly less dense and then to the liquids which is less dense and then we've had the dry fasting period and now we're coming out into the liquids and then we're going to build back into the denser so in fact what we've done is we've lightened ourselves so we've enlightened ourselves in density so we've raised into higher frequencies and now we're going to start eating denser foods and start uh, descending or bringing those higher frequencies back into embodying those into the body this is where i spoke to a couple of you yesterday uh, one of the ladies who's been on this group fast said that she feels like she's been on drugs all week and it's been great because she's been able to drive the kids to school and uh, do all her normal bits she hasn't cost her any money and um, that's generally what does happen when we clear the body out and we do have a really good fast we um we feng shui the body we we make it so that energy can flow through so the energy is in motion so that energy or emotion energy in motion is not stored within the body it's not trapped anymore this is one of my beliefs why male suicide may have been in the past one of the biggest killers in men between 25 and 55. Um, I owned a hair salon for those of you who don't know for around five years and I worked in hairdressing for about 12 years before that and I really noticed the correlation of how women would come in and speak about their problems and they'd laugh about it and they'd giggle and everybody would prefer to be that transmuted whereas men would come in and they'd be like oh no nothing's wrong I'm, I'm all right and what happens when, when generally we don't speak, we don't express things, uh, a blockage builds up and when that release happens, it's almost volcanic. So this week, what we've done through the dry fasting period, when we go into the 60 hours of dry fasting or 72 hours of dry fasting, depending on what stage you got to, we utilize all the old water that's stored in the fat cells, like a camel stores water in its hump. Um, that's why a lot of emotion may have come up for you guys around stuff that happened in childhood and um, it's just a real big release and it's been great that you've been able to sit for yourself and give me a call or just work through these these old emotions that we're releasing because now in effect what we're doing with this water after you've spoken those last affirmations into it and you've written them and, and during the week you've been placing that because um, your water on top of these affirmations because that affects the water as well actually by writing things on water affects the um, structure of the water 
And what I'd like you to do is to take it in your hands and take it in your hands like this, so your fingers are open. Um, I know we've been working with several main energy centers this week, but um, most of the chakras in the body are in the hands. And this is why if you're, they say the average person, if they're about to be in a car accident, their body will, or their hands will start to sweat or moisture will start to appear on their hands around three seconds before that car accident happens because your energy field will actually pick up on that accident before it happens. Now, if you're in a state of fear, they say your torus, your energy field is around three inches away from your body. So that means that that car accident hits that period, your palms are going to start to sweat. If you're in unconditional love or gratitude, your torus, your energy field is nine meters away from you. So if that car accident is going to happen, you're going to get the palms, your hands start to sweat nine meters before it happens to you. It's a lot less chance of that accident happening. You're a lot less perceptible to uh, accidents happening. So this is why TV uh, media try to keep people uh, in a state of fear because you're a lot more controllable, you're a lot more scared. Uh, but once we step into unconditional love and higher vibrations like gratitude, which is, how, I mean, how grateful are you gonna be when you have this sip of water? You haven't drunk anything for 60 hours um, and even then you was on just liquids that day before. So I want you to sit, I want you to put your hands on the bottle of water like this. I want you to pick three off of your list. Um, say you used to pick health, I want you to close your eyes and I want you to meditate and visualize the healthiest you've been. I want you to visualize when your body's been in its best shape, when you felt amazing, when maybe you've been on a holiday and you've been running down a beach and the wind's in your hair and your family's there and you just really love. I want you to really feel that because what happens is you emit that from your solar plexus. It goes out into your energy field. So this water's gonna be charged with that particular thing that you want to manifest. And I want you to do it with the next one. I want you to do it with three. Once you've done it with the three, just take the lid off and just feel how grateful you are for this water, how, how what you've done this week, how grateful you are that you've gone through this process. Jesus went through 40 days in the desert, fasting, dry fasting. Mohammed done it, Buddha done it. So this is something that's not new. This is something that's been practiced over thousands and thousands of years, even back to the Emerald Tablets, which is something like 30,000 years before Christ. Um, Stoff speaks about seven days of fasting from food and water. Now, um, the gratitude that you feel for this water is gonna be, to me, the main energy exchange. I want, ideally, after you've done this, I'd like you to try and feel as excited and as grateful for every meal you have after this. Don't be eaten by the clock. Um, this is old news, old program. It's one of the first programs that we have. If we, were, if we was to picture uh, a computer, the first program you put on it, the first program or paradigm that we have instilled in us is probably food because we're born as a baby and we're put on a boob and then we're put on a boob three times a day and we eat three times a day. Now modern science is saying that we have three brains, one in the stomach, one in the heart and one in the mind. But the thing is, in order for this one to work with pure clarity, this one has to be clear. So you might have noticed this week that a lot of things have been coming through really quickly. Like you've been asking questions or you've been doing something or um, you, things just appear. You think of Jane and Jane turns up. It's because when this one's clear, um, the signals are clear and your body just works as a clear channel where things happen a lot more more fast. You're a lot more responsive. It's like you've uprated your CPU. You've gone from a dial-up old modem, ba-ding, 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 right to a, a full, full 900 megabytes per second or 900 megabytes per minute, whatever they are these days. So, um, yeah, now that you've done that, um, take a sip of your water. Don't rush it because your body's obviously going to absorb this all very, very quickly. Spend the morning with that water. Um, have do your grounding, do your breath work. Today you're on liquids, soups, smoothies um, from 10 till 8 p.m. Thank you for taking part in this. Um, any testimonials are very appreciated. I hope you enjoy the rest of this day. Lots of love.